I have nothing but the Tomekin Shadow in my bank. This weapon is the strongest magic weapon in the game and it's currently priced in at 1.4 billion GP. I have sold my entire bank, we're going to make as much money as possible using this staff. How much money can I make in 24 hours? The timer starts now, let's go. We're gonna grab some monk ropes real quickly and then off to clan wars. Our plan is to get some quick start cash here at the Lava Dragons. Maybe 100k, 200k will be enough. One full inventory of a black dehyde and bones. Okay, we are 16 minutes in and I think we're done here. We have made 97k plus an additional 83k. That's enough for our next upgrade. And Porazdir is dead. That is our cape upgrade. A simple cape giving us plus 15 accuracy, plus 15 defense, and plus 2% damage bonus. While we're here, we might as well buy a nature rune and high off this staff to get our cash back. There we go, 58k. We're gonna take this 58k and take it to Zora. Let's grab a pair of rune gloves as well, why not? Okay, this kill was a lot slower than I expected, but we only need like 3 or 4 kills until we can buy the the occult necklace is an extremely strong upgrade that only cost 500k. This necklace gives an additional plus 10% damage boost to all magic spells. It actually took me 7 Zora kills to obtain 500k and be able to afford the occult upgrade. I was a bit optimistic thinking 3 or 4 kills would be enough to afford the occult necklace. Alright, that's enough. And before we put this occult necklace to use, let me quickly tell you about today's video sponsor, Raycon. Raycon is on a mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential smart tech listening features. I've used the Raycon earbuds in the gym for the last three years and they work perfectly. These earbuds start at half the price of other premium audio brands and sound just as good. There are a bunch of functions you can use with the earbuds, but I'm a simple man, I only use the simpler functions such as changing a song by tapping the right earbud three times. The Raycon earbuds have noise isolation mode which makes it possible to block out outside noise and fully enjoy your your music more. It's no wonder the Raycon Everyday Earbuds have over 50,000 5 star reviews. Click the link in the description box down below or go to buyraycon.com slash cengineer to get 15% discount of your Raycon purchase. With the occult upgrade my max hit with the staff went from 36 to 46. After every kill I've just been upgrading my gear slowly slowly slowly. And I'm reaching a good point right now. Another two Zoro kills and we can now afford Barrow's Gloves, beautiful. We just hit the two hour mark and we've made around 1.6 mil so far. Uh, we're gonna move on from Zora and go on to Demonic Gorillas. If we can get that Senai drop, we can do some upgrades and start doing some really fun content. Maybe it's pretty, pretty accurate here. Oh, look, isn't that rare? Light frame. Second kill. And for some reason it's only worth 29k. Oh my god, we got it. We got the Senai shard very very early. 47 kills! The drop rate for a demonic shard is 1 in 300. The time on the clock is currently 3 hours and 33 minutes, so we are doing pretty good on the clock right now. Alright, we got some upgrades for the gear. Full arms, eternal boots, and a brimstone ring. We are going to the God Wars dungeon, Armadil specifically. But first we need some keys. We got two keys, that should probably be enough for now. We got backpack keys, I'll take a third. Not really the most common armadillo gear, but we're gonna test this out. Let's go. And I love, I just love Gomal's hell teleport right to Trollheim. The technique for doing armadil in this magic setup is very simple. You just freeze the melee minion, the flight Kalisa, and then you just mage Kriara. Oh, we got a shard. Okay, we got something actually. Not too bad start. Hopefully I can finish off this kill. Yeah, there we go, my final kill. What do we get? Oh my god, no way. Okay, uh, this was a great idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm done. We did 7 kills at Armadil. It took us 20 minutes and we made 21 mil. We're, by the way, 4 hours and 15 minutes in. We're doing great. Alright, I'm instantly selling this bad boy for minus 5%. I'm thinking some basic upgrades like a rune pouch. Since I have a divine rune pouch, I'll just exchange it for this one. This is actually a huge upgrade. Tormented bracelet, 16 mil. If we get one more drop from Armadil, we can go to the next stage of this journey. I went back to Armadil for 10 more kills. Got nothing. I went to Bandos for 11 kills. Got nothing. I went to Sarah for 12 kills. Got nothing. But then I went back to Armadil one last time.
Yeah, and I got nothing. We're back at the Demonic Gorillas. We've got 17 hours left and we need one Zenite or 15 mil GP to go to the next stage of this video. Ooh, a uh, unique item, a Ballista Spring. I feel like I've wasted two hours here because I have gotten nothing. I decided to go back to Zolra. It's much more consistent drops even when you don't get any unique items. Loot from the first hour of Zolra, 2.2 mil. Pretty good, pretty good. A rune square shield. Nice, great. Ooh! We finally got something! Oh man, I've been waiting. Magic Fang worth 3.7 mil. I didn't think I would be getting anything from Zora, but here we are. A 3.7 mil item. We still have 13 hours and 42 minutes left, so we're doing pretty well on time. Loot from almost 2 hours of Zora. 7.5 mil. I just realized I've been so lucky on like all drop tables like Solra, I got a lucky item. Demonic Gorillas, I got a lucky item. Armadil got a lucky item. I'm happy. All right, we are going to the chambers of Xerix to do some cocks and uh, we have bought some gear. A fury with the blood shard, a whip with a crack and tentacle, full obsidian. It's not the best gear, but it's gear for cocks. So I have spent almost one hour here at the Cyclops for a Dragon Defender and we are about to get our 100th Cyclops kill which is the drop rate for a Dragon Defender so I'm just gonna allow myself to take my untradeable Dragon Defender from the bank and use that for raids. Honestly I just wanna complete one raids without dying just to prove to myself that I can do it. And we did it, one death so we get nothing. Since the Tumikin Shadow is one tick slower than the Sang Staff, the running at Ohm's hand is a bit different. It's it's gonna require me some practice before I get used to this. Alright, uh, we died, uh, so probably got nothing, yeah. I'm about to complete cops without dying. Oh my, I did it, I did it. Jesus Christ, that was scary. Hey, another kill. Hey! <laughs> We got, we actually got a purple after we died. But we get the worst purple of them all. The arcane, pr oh, it's still two mil. Kill count number four at uh, Chambers of Zeri. A nice little 2.4 millers. For my last raid, I decided to join a random free for all mass. These are fun because it's, it's always chaos. There's always someone dying and there's always someone getting kicked. And you almost all the time get a purple. The team is probably gonna get something, but I'm probably not getting anything. A Kodai! Who could have been a Tebow? Alright, less than 9 hours left. I think we're gonna go to the place where this staff is the most useful, and that is Tomes of a Musket. 2% chance of a purple and not purple. 440k. Nothing. This random team asked me to join their TOA, so I was MVP as well. I did well in a team even with this shit gear. We still got 7 hours left, so a few more team raids. In free for all TOAs, you get so many purples. We got a purple, not mine, so I got nothing. We got a purple, not mine, so I got nothing. Another purple. Oh, it's mine! It's my purple! This could be huge! We can get so many upgrades. Anything but the light bearer or the ward. Anything but ring or the ward, please. Oh my god! That's huge! Wow! I'm so lucky in this video! That's massive! 130 mil, I'm a rich man! I'm getting so many upgrades right now. 70 ways! I think two of them were solos, five were masses, and we are rich. Five hours and 11 minutes left on the timer, and we're gonna get some upgrades. 128 mil off the taxes. After thinking this through, this will be my upgrades. The full Zenite set, a Fang, Prims, and a Syrup Helm. So my melee switches are gonna get a lot better with this. How did I get a new PB in a free-for-all for man? Isn't that unbelievable? We don't get a back-to-back. Never ever anything. We are testing a level 300 expert TOA solo in this gear. I completed the expert TOA, but I got nothing. I decided to end with an 8-man Tom's of a Mascot mass, but of course we got nothing. Time to sell the loot from TOA, we got 3.2 mil in stuff. In total, of course we got 134 mil. So I tried to do a challenge mode raid and I got to Vasa, but I just couldn't get enough DPS to actually complete and kill Vasa. So I wasted one entire hour in the challenge mode raid, now my time is limited. My final raid today is a mass, we got 38 minutes. All right, this video's last raid, are we gonna get a purple? Are we gonna see something nice?
Nothing for me. Another cold eye for someone else. Could have been a twisted bow once again. I still have 13 minutes left, so I think I'm just gonna go send one corrupt gauntlet while I have the time. Ah, oh, we did it with one minute to spare. Corrupt gauntlet completed. What do we end the video on? What item do we get? Good luck. Nothing. Let's sell everything and we're gonna see how much we made in these 24 hours. Alright my friends, after selling all the loot, we have made from 24 hours 155 mil. We also got a tentacle whip we can't sell and we also got a blood fury we can't sell but I'm gonna assume these two are worth 10 mil. So I'm gonna say we made around 165 mil which puts the calculator to 6.8 million per hour. If you want to see me do a similar video like this, leave a like. In the last week of March every year, Swedish people have a Swedish tradition called the Spring Liquid Detox Week. This is a tradition that's been going on for the last 80 years and during this week, all Swedish people turn their food into liquid. And that's why we got a mixer right here because we're gonna turn our food into liquid. And for the past 20 years, I've always had the same thing. Fries from McDonald's, nuggets from McDonald's, and a McChicken. The process of turning food into liquid is very simple. You put everything in the mixer, the nuggets, the fries, and I only used half a burger this time. And of course, you're gonna need some form of liquid in the mixer as well. I normally use orange juice, but water and milk works as well. And then you just turn on the mixer and wait until it looks something like this. Look how good that looks. Mmm, smells amazing. Yeah, school. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. It's absolutely amazing. I love this. See you in one week. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye. And by the way, Swedish people don't actually do this. April Fools. If I'm completely honest, it wasn't even that bad. I can actually eat this. It's actually good. Um, I'm gonna give the rest to my wife and kids. They are very, very hungry.